All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and this is Shir Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Um, I want to go in this lesson on basically, if you retire from this truth, your latter end is going to be worse with you than uh, the beginning, okay? Um, now, I want to go into this word uh, retire, okay? Which the word retire from the 1530s of armies to retreat, okay? Uh, from middle uh, French retire to withdraw something uh, from uh, re, uh, like retire, the word re means back and uh tire uh is uh draw okay so the word retire means to draw back okay um this is uh hebrews 10 and 38 now the just shall live by faith okay so when you come into this truth we we going to live by faith man until the very end that's what this is really mainly all about you know, different brothers have different proportions of faith. You know what I'm saying? Different talents that they have. Okay. Um, it, says, it says, but if any man draw back or if any man retire, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. Okay. So once you come into this truth, you can't give up. You can't go back into the world. You know, you have to uh endure until the end okay it says my soul shall have no pleasure in him okay and and hey there are there are um situations going on now where people who went back into the world you know they're they're getting uh the lord is uh killing them it says but we are not of them who re who draw back onto perdition okay but of them that believe to the saving of the soul okay so our faith in this truth is saving our souls, man. Okay. Um, so with that said, um, you know, you don't go back into the world to be a scoffer, okay, or retire and then, you know, go on all type of vacations and, you know, things of that sort. Heck, it ain't, it ain't no, we ain't in the time for, for, for the ways of this world, man, because we know what's, what's to come, you know. Um, the word, uh, retire was one of the reasons why some people, uh, retire, okay, is because they're timid, okay, it says, uh, sowing a lack of courage or confidence, easily frightened, okay, and there's many different things that, you know, when you come into this truth, a lot of people, they lose that confidence, you know, they, they start losing that faith, man, because they forget, that it's about, you know, salvation, man, you know, and living by faith, okay, so, um, they get, uh, brother, certain brothers get weak, okay, um, it says, apprehensive, fearful, easily frightened, afraid, faint-hearted, you know, that's another, uh, word, you know, you can't faint in this truth, okay, uh, timorous, nervous, scared, frightened, Cowardly, um, pusillanimous, pusillanimous, uh, spineless, shy, diffident, self-effacing, okay, wimpy, wimpy, uh, yellow chicken, mousy, gutless, sissy, lily-livered, candy-assed, uh, weak need, okay. So being in this truth, man, you can't be uh, any of these words, man. You gotta have, you gotta have uh, the guts, man, to be able to be out there, man. You know, um, it don't matter if you if it's your, you know, your family see you out there, your woman, your your job, okay. Um, some guys they just be wanting to come out there, and uh, and 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 they they. As soon as they get out there, they want to go back home immediately. You know, I'm talking about like when we go out and, and, and uh, speak 
or some guys don't want to throw up videos during the week, you know, but it's just nothing wrong with uh, taking 15 minutes out of your day to uh, do a video, you know, if if that, you you know, you can share a video from another brother or study, call up another brother, you know what I'm saying, go hang out with the brother, do lessons, you know, uh, the word feeble, uh, lacking physical strength, especially as a result of age or illness, okay, which, you know, we talking about uh, spiritual strength, man, you know, as brothers come in, when brothers come in, uh, some brothers be on fire, but then as, as, uh, as time goes on, those brothers tend to lose some of that fire, you know, and they, uh, they, they start drawing back, uh, becoming lukewarm, uh, we supposed to be on fire for this thing, man, you know, the same fire that you had when you first came into the, to the knowledge, you know, you were studying videos and, uh, you know, looking at it all the time, you know, that's the same way how you're supposed to, to stay uh, when you're coming to this truth, man, okay? Um, 2 Timothy 1 and 6, Wherefore, I put you in remembrance that thou stir up the gift of Yahweh by Shemiah Shah, which is in you by the putting on of my hands, for Yahweh by Shemiah Shah has not given us the spirit of fear, Okay, the Lord didn't give us that spirit of, you know, being feeble or being timid, you know, lacking courage. You know what I'm saying? When you come into this truth, we're supposed to know that Yahweh Shemiah Shah is going to destroy this place, that the Lord uh, is comforting us, you know, that he's our only hope, you know, um, and, and, and basically just putting our trust in him, okay? Um, the Lord didn't, 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 didn't call us into this truth for, for brothers to, uh, to, to be scared, man. You know, of course we fear the Lord, you know, that he don't destroy us and stuff like that, you know, but, you know, he gave us that, 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 um, that, that he's, we supposed to have that mindset that. You know, no. it say, but of power, I'm going to continue on. It says, but of power and of love and of a sound mind, okay? You supposed to have a sound mind when you come into this truth, man. You know, the Lord the Lord didn't give us the, the, the spirit of, you know, being scared to, to, to have this power that he gave us, man. You know, but he is our power, you know? The, the ability to tell these devils that they gone into slavery and stuff like that. See, we didn't have that 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 uh, back then, you know. And we didn't have that opportunity to see that the so-called white man was a devil to his face, man. You know, and knowing that they're a devil, even they saw it every day. Okay, it says, "Be not thou, therefore, ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner, but be thou partakers of the afflictions." Of the gospel according to the power of Yahweh by Shemiah Shah. And, we, and, the, and that's the thing, man. You know, patience is long suffering, man. Okay? We're going to be afflicted in this truth, you know, um, from the from the um from the weather to the to the people, okay, to, to everything, man, to the to the doctrine, okay. We're gonna be we're gonna be afflicted all the time, man. Okay? It says, uh, but we're not supposed to be a saint, man, because these afflictions, you know, Yahweh Shah went through these these afflictions, man. You know, the scriptures say that Yahweh Shah is the author and the finisher of our faith. Okay? Um, basically, you know, the Lord is it, it, showing grace, man. You know? Um, we have the opportunity of a lifetime that not many people get. You know, and and when we get into the kingdom, that's when we're going to be able to 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 rest. You know, but this place right here, a called America, is not our rest. Okay. This is um, Hebrews six and four. For it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift 
and were made partakers of the Holy uh, Ghost and have tasted the good word of Yahweh Shem Yahushah and the powers of the world to come, if they shall fall away, you know, if they shall retire, basically, to renew them again unto repentance. Seeing they crucify to themselves the Son of God afresh and put him to open shame, you know? So it's impossible for, for, for if, if a brother fall away, fall out, go back into the world. It's impossible, man. The scriptures say that to, to renew them again unto repentance, man, you know? Uh, to, to follow the scriptures and do what the Lord said to do, man. It's impossible, man. You know, that's why I got this scripture right here. 1 Corinthians 12 and 20. But now are they many members yet but one body? And the eye cannot say unto the hand, I have no need of you, nor again the head to the feet, I have no need of you. Okay, so... When you come into this truth, all the all the brothers, man, that are in the truth, you know, they're important, man. It says, nay, much more those members of the body which seem to be more feeble are necessary. Okay? And when you go into this word feeble, it says uh, weak, infirm, feeble, uh, uh, and the base of, it says strengthless, um... In various applic applications, literal, figurative, and moral, okay, some brothers don't don't literally have the strength, you know. Um, it says more feeble, impotent, sick, without strength, weaker, weakness, or a weak thing, okay. So, the brothers that you may may think are weak, you know, in this truth, man, they you know they're necessary, man. You know, and I'm saying this to, to the brothers that, you know, because this is a brotherly thing, man. Um, Pretty much, if you see a brother, you know, he might be slacking on, on, on certain areas. You know what I'm saying? The last thing that we should do is let that brother just fall off, you know, and just go back straight up into the world. First off, if they're going to do that, you know what I'm saying, then they're going to do that, okay? But us as brothers, you know, uh, we have to... To try to, you know, um, as this scripture say, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 14. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, you know, trying to kick out every brother that, you know, might might be weak or something like that or might be uh, timid, you know, or lacking the confidence or something like that. You know, warn, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient towards all men, okay? So the thing is, like, the, is the scriptures say, uh, the members of the body which seem to be more feeble or, or, or the ones that seem to be weak, you know, they're necessary, man, okay? Because this is all a part of the faith, man, okay? We have to say, and I'm going to continue on, 1 Corinthians 12 and 23, and those members of the body which we think to be less honorable, Upon these we bestow more abundant honor, and uh, on and our uncomely parts have more abundant comeliness. Okay, for our comely parts have no need, but Yahweh by Shemayosai have tempered the body together, having given more abundant honor to the to that part which lacked. Okay, it says that there should be no schism in the body. But that the members should have one should have the same care one for another, okay? In the same way that you care about that one brother that you know maybe may, you may think that he's straight up on fire and stuff like that, compared to the other brother, you supposed to have that same care, man. Okay, the scriptures say comfort the feeble minded and support the weak, be patient towards all men. Okay, long suffering, man. You know? Um Cause we don't want brothers to 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 get destroyed, you know what I'm saying? Um, to to go back into the world. Cause once you come into this truth, man, you know you're you you it's blood and blood out. Okay, and and the Lord has chosen us to 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 do this work to push this work, 
You know what I'm saying? And and we have to tell brothers, hey, you gotta pray more. You know? You 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 gotta uh we we, we gotta come together more, man. You know? We 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 not supposed to to, to, to quench our brother's spirits. You know, as you know, the the, the, the scriptures say we supposed to tell brothers, you know, to, to, to do the right thing as far as what Yahweh about Simeon was say. You know? Now this is this is important. As far as the, the, the brotherhood go. So if you see a brother who may be getting weak or maybe doing something, you know, we try to we try to talk to, to the brothers, man, because communication is extremely important. You know? This is a this is a brotherhood thing, man. You know? This ain't no no uh okay, I done put in an, uh, enough uh years, now I can just fall back and, and go back into the world. You know, this ain't this. That's not what this truth is about. Okay. With that said, I'm gonna get this. Uh, get this scripture. Um. Second Peter. Uh, two and nineteen. While they promised them liberty, they themselves are the servants of corruption. For of whom a man is overcome, of the same is he brought into brought in bondage for if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the lord and savior yahweh shah they are again entangled there and and overcome the latter end is worse with them than the beginning okay so you coming to this truth man you escape the pollutions of this world and the last thing we want brothers to do is to go back and be polluted among the world you know um, heck, we trying to get, uh, these people out here, we trying to reach the elect and tell them to, to, to come from out of, uh, this, this wicked place, man. You know? Because the scriptures say the latter end is worse with them than the beginning, man. You know, after you, after you escape the pollutions of the world, you come into the knowledge, okay? And you get entangled back into the world. You come, you know that you're an Israelite, you, you know the name of Yahweh Shem Yahweh you're doing the work, and you just stop doing all that stuff, you draw back, well, the, the, the latter end is going to be worse with you, man, okay? So with that, man, um, you know, hopefully this was edifying, I want to say Shalom until next time.